Hi guys, you're watching Interesting and Ficus. This is a new episode of House in 60 Days. Now this house has become even larger by 5 square meter due to the room for the boiler. As you can see, this is the largest and most spacious room in this house. This is our studio kitchen. In the future, we're planning to shoot some videos here. Look at this corridor, it looks like a hotel. By the way, we don't put all the video frames into our videos. For example, we installed this door last week. There are no handles and locks on the door yet, but nevertheless, it gives a coziness to this room. Well, this is my room. And this, guys, is my room, the coolest room in this giant house. I live here sometimes. As you see, there is a heater. I think it's the best room here. This week we are planning to finish building our boiler room and next week having installed the boiler, we'll turn on the heating system. Since in the last video you supported our idea of making the hot tub, we started preparing the platform, which will now fill with the concrete so that it can withstand the weight of the hot tub. We checked it, poured water and just pushed the ground. We'll fill it all with the concrete and after that tomorrow we'll Let's know the hot top. Hang up the phone and let your heart break on the inner lane. 24 twice. She saw the phone. Well, after making the roof of our house, making such a small shed roof is just nothing, so it's so easy that we can do it just in two days. Also, you may have noticed that we have leveled the area near our boiler room and in the future we'll fill it with motor. This area is also useful for the fact that we still need to make a blind area for the house. We'll also make an excellent place for preparing firewood for the winter, all this chopping and sawing stuff. Sergey and I are now arguing whether this firewood is enough for the winter. Well, I don't think so. What do you think? Write in the comments below. By the way, our problem doesn't seem to end because we can't install the shower cabin in any way. Why? Because the water doesn't drain. I tried different positions, but we have a weak slope. So you have to raise the shower stall, something like this, because... I told you! I told you the slope of weak, isn't it? Yes, you told. We have to put on two bricks or at least one. We'll climb like this. Maybe we'll put a ladder to get into the shower. So we are already filling the platform that will be under the hot tub. Now I'm putting in this motor all the excess metal that is lying around the perimeter. There are different meshes, pieces of iron and so on in order to reinforce this base. So guys, it's already the second day and our platform for the hot tub is almost ready. Just outside it's so cold today, we don't know if it's dry or frozen. Well, it looks solid enough and I think we can proceed to the next stage. We fixed our roof very firmly, we fixed it not only with a threaded row to our block, but also screwed it to the walls. You see, we made holes and attached reinforcement to the corners. Now we'll cover it with a mortar, plaster it. Our roof will be very strong and no end will rip it off. So the process of installing the roof is in the progress, as you can see everything is very fast as we planned. By the way, we put the hetero barrier under the fiber salmon shed, because what we decide to isolate it, also Ficus says that there is no need to isolate, but I think it's better to ensure yourself so that the moisture doesn't get into the mineral wall. The roof is almost ready, guys. See how clearly it stood? It's turning out really cool. Now we'll put another brick on it and it will be superb. Look how thick the foundation is. We were worried that it would be thin, but in fact it's really good foundation. Well, according to our plan, everything here will be bricked. There will be a front part with a tiny door. We'll put firewood there and it will all stand on the fire and cook the person. Here we'll put a beautiful brick chimney. Then here we'll make beautiful benches from wooden lining, like near the pool. It will be really cool and warm. I can't wait. It's really cold outside and I already want to warm up myself. Get cooked here.
Look how cool it turns out. We have already put a mounting bracket here to hold the top. We'll put firewood there. You know what it reminds me? A fireplace, only a mini version. And here we have a chimney. The pipe will be inserted here. We'll make it higher for good traction. Therefore, I can no longer wait for the evening to take a good steam in this hot tub. While Sergei is installing the hot tub, I cleaned everything in our future boiler room and now we can install the window there. Since we made this part from different remnant of air concrete blocks, so these blocks are turned out to be of different length, our frame doesn't fit. You know so enough the excess part with the reciprocating so is a joy, it cuts perfectly. Well, put the drawer on soon. Check it out, we barely installed it. There are two grooves here. It's normally installed on one, but not on the second. We barely did everything. And now, have a look. Get this party started. I got the music playing loud. How you like my outfit? I have to say I'm kind of proud. It's almost night outside and we finally finished our hot tub. I like this pipe the most here. It's like a furnace, it's small, portable. We're already filling it with water and it's time to light up the firewood. Fikas really wants to turn into soup. The water is steaming. Wow. This is really wow. My legs are floating. Here it's almost like in a sauna. Take my royal slippers. As you can see, smoke is coming through the cracks here, but in the future we'll cover all this with mortar. Then we want to sheet it with clapboard so that the armrests look beautiful. It will be like in the best saunas in Finland. Everything will be beautiful. Bring flowers to the king. Fast! And now... Look at him! Guys, if you like this idea and would also like to relax in this hot tub, then be sure to hit the thumbs up. Our sauna complex is expanding and our house is becoming more comfortable. In the next video, we'll turn on the heating system and lay paving stones. If you want to see all this, then right now hit the thumbs up and leave your comments below. Also subscribe to the channel and watch our previous videos if you missed them. It was Fikas and interesting with you. See you next Sunday. Blah, blah.